Hey, what's up guys? Thanks for checking out this week's episode of Revealed. We are back in the shop this week and let me give you a quick update of what we have going on. So right here behind me is actually a built-in closet system that we are doing in our Charlestown project. We have also just wrapped up the kitchen for this and we've actually pulled some of the elements from the kitchen and are bringing them here into this closet. So right here, this large open space, this is going to be for hanging your clothes. So we will end up putting a closet rod going across here and a shelf on the top here. Because this is so wide, we weren't able to make the back in one solid piece. We went ahead and hid the seam behind the shelf. That way there, you'll never actually see that seam once everything is together and installed. Because this unit is so large, it has to break down into multiple pieces to be able to get it into the unit. Now, for the frame, we have to bring that in in one piece. The upper frame is one piece, lower frame is the second piece. But for these, we have a walkout balcony in the room that this is going into. So we'll be able to hoist this up onto the roof and bring it into the room that way. So the exterior is all going to be painted Chantilly lace. And there's actually gonna be a countertop separating the two spaces here, the upper and the lower. That counter is going to run wall to wall and all the way back through inside this here cabinet that will also be painted the same Chantilly lace. So here to the right side, these cabinets are going to remain open. So this entire space is going to be painted white. We'll have four bifold doors here. So two opening on each direction and then nine drawers below here for tons of dresser type of storage. We also have the smaller nook cabinet that's going to be on a different wall, but still right around the corner from where the main closet unit's going. A couple more drawers of storage we even have a docking drawer going into this top drawer so that they can charge their iPads, phones, things of that nature. We have the countertop on here and above it, we're actually just going to do three floating shelves because this is a smaller span and we do have the room to capture this on three sides. We just went ahead and added a rabbit to our shelves. This will allow us to take a cleat of three quarter stock screw it to the wall, and then we're able to just put this shelf right on top and using some adhesive to keep it in place. So the elements that we brought in from the kitchen actually aren't only found in the kitchen in this house. A few years back, we ended up doing a bathroom renovation and the homeowners liked the profile on the vanity so much that they wanted to do the same in their kitchen and now the same here in the bedroom closet. And that profile is a bead. So this might look simple, but it's actually quite a bit of work. So a bead like this would typically be found on a face frame. In this instance, as you can see, the face frames are square. Same with the kitchen, same with the bathroom. So how are we getting this bead and how are we making it work with our typical mortise and tenon joinery? Well, as you can see here, this jack miter is what makes all that difference. These two pieces here are both rails. They have the same beaded profile and the same groove depth. But what would happen if I take the tenon and marry it into this groove? It's not gonna fit. It's not gonna look good. Well, yes, the tenon fits all the way down. Our beads don't line up. There's this awkward extra bit of space here where the bead runs through. That would mean we would need to remove this bead here. That would make the distance where we notched to the actual groove way too small for our tongues. You can see here with this distance, we would have quite a huge gap, which doesn't do exactly what we need. So that means we have to go back and make this groove deeper. However, we're only making that piece deeper on the styles. We could do it with the rails, but we don't necessarily have to, and it would make our tongue that much smaller. So here with one of our styles, you can see that we now have our standard depth from, our, from the inside of our notch to the inside of the groove with the extended groove in our styles, our tenons now not only fit, they end up making a nice tight jack miter. For this process, we start with our squared lumber. So for us, that is one inch thick by two and nine sixteenths wide. Then we go ahead and add this bead. That's the first step that we do. Now remember, because this is done with a typical router bit in our shaper, we stand these pieces up on edge. So the face of the board is against the face of our shaper fence. From there, we go ahead and add the grooves just like we would with typical tongue and groove joinery. 
with the exception being that on all of the style pieces, we go ahead and switch the bearing to change the setup and make this a little bit deeper to allow for that tight fit with our tongue. At that point, we have a bunch of pieces with the bead on them and the grooves cut and all of our rails will have their tenons. Then we can go back through taking all of our styles, measuring back the distance for the actual width of the rail and notching the bead out all the way up to that point. We can get a nice tight jack miter while keeping the ends of our rails and styles flush. On the ends of our rail pieces, we just need to make a small jack miter on the end, keeping the long point of our miter flush with the shoulder of that bead. That's going to allow us to take these two pieces and marry them nicely together. Now I know that was quick, but I hope that gives you guys an idea of how we went ahead and approached making this beaded profile. There are of course other ways to do that. You could mill up all of the bead stock and apply it on the inside perimeter. That was an option that we chose not to do as it doesn't really move the needle one way or the other. It doesn't speed up the process. Both are time consuming. For me, I would rather have everything be one solid piece than have extra pieces and parts. If you guys have any questions, please be sure to drop them in the comments below, subscribe to the channel, and we will catch you next week. Thanks.